Does your window not work? It does, but my car's not working. Huh? Enjoy your day at school. Yeah. All right, there goes Hannah and Cal on their way to school. Show the rods. Wait a second. Show the rods. Say goodbye to them. Tell them to have a good day at school. Have a good day at school. Yep. Bye, Felicia. Getting some stuff unloaded. Gonna take my daughter Cammy out. What do you say? You excited? Yep. All right, we got the boat launch. We're gonna go see if we can go catch some cohos, browns, or kings. Springtime, here we go. Okay, so we just launched the boat. I'm here with Cammy, my youngest daughter, and one of her favorite fish to eat. She loves coho. So we're hoping to go out and catch just a couple for dinner tonight. I was hoping for three or four, but if we get five or six or seven, we'll keep them. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to catch them and how to actually cook them. One of my favorite ways to cook them. But first, we gotta catch them, right? So Cammy's shooting, a, are you shooting a little vlog too? Yep. We got all sorts of stuff in the boat. I actually brought a bunch of salmon rods out because I was thinking of maybe going to troll some salmon. Big Kings. We got sleeping bags down here, snacks, extra rods all over the place, but I wouldn't have it anyway. So what we're gonna do, we're, we're out of the port of Racine. This is where I grew up. And down here in Racine, there's, you got the river mouth that can be really good in the spring because the warm water dumps out here in the river mouth. Then just south of Racine, you've got the boils, or the bubblers they call them. Those can be really good because you've got warm, dirty water that cranks up around those. And then you've got like Wind Point and the reef here. So there's always a good shot here at Racine. It's usually one of the first places you can catch cohos where they show up. Late April right now. And uh, what are we gonna try to do? What do you think, the meat down? Beat down, smack down, crack down is about to begin. Here we go, guys. All right, we're here. We're going to start off by the boils. There's uh, a couple of boats here. What we're going to start doing is uh, we're going to start trolling crankbaits. I'll show you what we're using here in a second. Get everything all set up here on my tripod. See if we can catch them. All right, thanks, buddy. Double wrap them. Look good? Yep. All right, let's go. Here, fishy, fishy. Now look, you see in front of us, you see that dark water? Yeah. That's up there, we're coming in. That's that's where the boil in the dark, that's where the fish should be hanging out in like that shadowy shade stuff. That's their hiding spot. So here in Wisconsin, we can fish three lines per person. So we've got our six lines out. We're running all crankbaits. We're running them back about anywhere from 30 to 50 feet. Um, the water temp is 45 degrees right up here by the boils and we're just going to troll back and forth here through this dirt. Oh, we got one on. Right here, fish on. Right here. Hang on. All right. You just reel. Oh, the other way, yep. Yep. Nice and slow. This might be dinner. All right, we haven't even, we just got our last line in and we are hooked up. Flip. 
Keep reeling. Keep reeling. All right, lift up. Hey, there's Coho number one, little guy. First one of the day. That's on a flicker minnow right there, back 40 feet. First Coho. First one, we'll put them in the box. All right, nice job, Cammy. On. Hang on, fish on, number two. Now reel a little bit. Boy, this is good action, hey Camille? Your second one, good job. Keep reeling. Looks like we're gonna, all right. And then keep that rod pointed to the left. It's all right, good job. Another nice coho, oh, that's a nice one. That's a big coho, Camille. Keep reeling nice and slow. Lift up. Nice cub. There's number two. That did not take long at all. Boy, oh boy, we're going to have some fresh dinner tonight. These are so good to eat. I'm going to show you guys Cammie's favorite way to eat them. There we go. There's number two. Ah! Flip that down. Yep. Flip it down. There you go. Thanks, buddy. All right, hey, where were those fish? Were they right in that dirty water? See how they're hanging out? You wanna know why? That's a little warmer and that's where the bait fish are. All right, we had our first SD card full. We are putting the GoPros back together here. We got two fish in the box, just like that. Good start, right, Cammie? Yep. We got chaos. We got chaos in the Illumicraft. All right. You want to take it out? Yep. Lift that up. Yep. Two hands. Right. One hand up here. One hand down here. Lift up forward. This way and then out. Yep. Just got to be careful. I'm going to move this rod out of your way again. Brown trout, we're not gonna keep him. We're gonna let him go. All right, we'll just, here's what we do with those. We got one on that one too. You wanna grab that one? That one's a coho. We're gonna let the browns go. I don't think they're nearly as good. Yep, lift straight up, keep lifting. Grab it like that, good job. These we just unhook. Unhook them here. Unhook them here. There he goes. I am sweating. Yeah. Keep coming, I'm not even gonna net them. I'm just gonna flip them right in. Keep reeling, yep. Keep reeling, we're gonna fling them right in. Watch this. Whoa, there you go. That's dinner, we got three. Heck yeah. Third one. Third one in the box, let's go. 
you can kind of do this anywhere. You can do it up in Milwaukee, Kenosha, Racine, but typically this coho bite is always best in the southern part of the state. It actually starts down in Indiana, and then in Illinois it's really good, and in, uh, works its way up to Milwaukee and stuff. But pretty much north of that, the coho bite can be a little bit tougher, but these are some of the best eating fish on the Great Lakes. They're small now, but they're tasty. Look at that, look at that nice big brown cami caught. That's a German, see the uh, fin clip on there? Now the, if a guy wanted to eat one, that would probably be all right, but we're gonna let him go. Say goodbye to him. Watch, he'll be fine. Look at him, there he goes, all right. All right, I got Cammy sleeping up front right now, and I'm hooked up, so I'm trying to be quiet. Really nice coho. All right, so I just caught this coho. I think we can keep one more. Bite's been just crazy, crazy insane right now. And Cammy, she just hit the wall. She's sleeping right now. So I'm trying to keep it down, but look, I'll show you. All right, we're gonna wrap it up. Me and Cammy have kept four cohos each. I think we've caught maybe close to 20 fish. Her arms got sore. We had a little lull for about 15 minutes and before you know it, she took a little nap. And uh, I'm just gonna show you a couple of the fish that we, we caught. A lot of them are like this size right here. Just, just beautiful, beautiful cohos. Great eating fish. And uh, I'm gonna ask Cammy. I think she's ready to call it. Yeah, we could probably catch our limit and go home with 10 but eight is enough fish did you have fun yes i had a lot of fun i uh, had uh, you had a lot of fun good hey this was better than school wasn't it yeah i told you it would be and what do you want to do now should we go home and show everyone how we clean them and cook them yeah all right we're gonna do that guys so what we're gonna do now is uh i'll show you real quickly easy method how to clean them and more importantly one of my favorite fish to eat on the great lakes are these cohos and I'm gonna show you my favorite recipe. So we're gonna do a, a catch and cook video today. I don't do a lot of them, but tell me what you think. And uh, you gotta try this. This is a lot of fun coming out here with your kids. That's why I like trolling. It's a very basic, easy, simple thing to do. And you're gonna catch a lot of fish. Sure, jigging would be fun. We catch them out here jigging. We catch them out here on, on, on everything. But uh, trolling was fast and, and furious this morning and, and it just didn't, didn't go any better for me. All right, we're going to wrap it up. We're going to go clean them. All right, so we're back at the launch. We're going to get a quick picture of the coho. This is a potato. A lot of people think I'm a potato, but we're going to eat that potato. What we're going to do is we're going to cook some potatoes in an Instant Pot. We're going to go outside, fillet the cohos, right? Then I'm going to show you everything for Cammy and one of my favorite coho recipes for the catch and cook. Are you ready to go outside and fillet the fish? Yes. Then we'll cook them on the grill, show everybody? Yep. Let's go. As you can see, my house is a complete disaster. My wife is going to kill me if she sees the dirty part of the house in the video. For all you young guys, make sure you clean up. All right, we'll put our fillets in here. Let's go. Camille, you ready out there? 
running out of life, running out of life, running out of time. That's my life story. You ready? Yeah. All right. We got my man Cal behind the camera. We got Cammy right here. So, you want to flay the fish? Yeah. You really want to flay them? Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to do this, right? I'll show you how to do the first one real quick for everyone that hasn't seen how to fillet a fish. Then I'm gonna show everyone how to cook it. You ready? So, grab it out of here first. Keep them on ice. Now, like I showed Cal this before, it's three cuts, right? One, you put this electric fillet knife. You go one right behind the gill. And then actually you just, well, whoa! There's two, and then your third cut is just to take out the ribs. So, there's one fillet. Real quickly, again, okay, so if you've never filleted these, you're gonna take the knife, hold it here, pull the fin back and go push straight down, kinda hard just to the backbone. You don't want to go through the backbone. Then you're just going to angle the knife all the way down, all right? We got to put these guts somewhere else. Ah! Where should we put the guts? All right. Cammy brought us a bucket. So, we're going to finish up this little cut right here. One thing I always like to have is paper towel around. All right, you see how I pull out these rib bones like that? Now you can use a regular fillet knife. I really like an electric fillet knife. I've said this before, this is uh, not a sponsored product, but it's a Rapala, a lithium fillet knife. It is a really good one. The other thing we did before we came off the water that probably a lot of you guys don't do is we cut the gills on the fish. That way when you go to fillet the fish, there's not a ton of blood in the meat. So you don't want a ton of blood in the meat. That's why when you see wicked tuna, they bleed out the fish right away. So that way you don't have a lot of blood in the meat. So there's a couple fillets. We are gonna let Cammy attempt her first fillet job of a coho. Now, I don't expect it to be perfect. I expect it to be like, just <laughs> one little millimeter off of perfect. Just kidding, so, you ready? Yeah. So look, here's what I'm gonna have you do. So if you've never filleted a fish and you're with someone like Cammy's never filleted a fish before, I'm gonna actually walk you through this. I'm gonna hold the knife with you so you can feel how much pressure I'm putting. So you're gonna hold it here. That's your trigger, right? And hold it tight and firm. Hold it firm. Now take this left hand, pull this fin back a little bit, and you can wear a glove. Now here's what you gotta watch out for is your thumb, okay? So you kinda wanna hold here. Now you wanna just go straight down. Go ahead, hold it, stop. You see how you stop it there? Yeah. Now once we're on the backbone, because if you go too hard, now we're gonna take it and angle it. Push, yep, push, push, push. There you go, good job. Oh, does that look nummy or what? <laughs> look at that nummy, nummy meat in my tummy. Daddy's gonna get nice and fat tonight on some fresh cohos, cook and catch. That's what I'm talking about, living off the land right here, living large. All right, you want me to do this one or you got it? You wanna try this one too? Got it? I like it, I like it. I like how you're learning here and you're teaching people how to do this. Now look, I'm gonna pull that up. And now look, you want to hold here a little bit just so the fish doesn't move because you're only going straight down. Okay, go ahead, push down. Keep going, hold it. Stop, right there. Now look, now you're gonna, don't start it yet, but you're gonna angle the knife like this. And now you're gonna put your hand behind the knife so you don't cut your hand, okay? Go ahead. Yeah, come on this side. Keep going, don't let it go. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. There you go. Electric knife makes it so much easier. I feel it just makes it real easy for anyone and to clean fish, right? So let's clean off a little bit of this blood. We can get a towel on here too. 
And that's about it. We got a couple fillets here. I'm just going to take the rib bones out. And then uh, I'm going to show you the next step for how to cook our catch from today. On to the next step. Uh, we're also gonna have some asparagus, right? You like asparagus? Mm -hmm. I like asparagus. Let's turn the throw a little butter in there. Now I'm definitely not a chef, but I do love to cook when I have time. We're gonna put some butter in there, let that melt in a little bit, and then we're gonna throw in all our asparagus, Cami. We're gonna throw those in there. Put those in there. We're gonna have asparagus. Salmon and potatoes sound good. Yep. All right, so this is Cammy's favorite way to Eat these coho fillets. So here's what you need. If you're gonna to go to the store. It's three basic uh, Ingredients one is a lemon and I for these amount of fish I will probably I'd say buy like three at least three lemons because one we're gonna soak the fish in lemon and then two at the end, we're going to put lemon on it, but the second one you need is Captain Morgan's. No, we're not going to drink this, guys, so don't get any funny ideas. We're actually going to caramelize the Captain Morgan with brown sugar, right? So we'll show you that. So your three ingredients. First, you got to catch coal, so four. Then the Captain Morgan, the brown sugar, and the lemon. It's that simple, all right? So we'll show you step by step. All right, so here's what we're going to make. You're basically going to make a little boat with the aluminum foil. And I think this is kind of thin, so we're going to actually double this up. Just to be on the safe side. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean by a little boat? We're just going to wrap up the edges here. Kind of like that. Fold it over. Fold it over. Fold it over. And fold it over. Uh-oh, we got a little leak over here. Watch this corner here. And this is important because we're going to put all our fillets in here that we are going to cook so none of the juices escape. That's important, right? So, do you want to grab the fillets and do you want to lay them in here? Yep. Go ahead and grab a couple of them. Probably just put three in each little boat that we're going to make. One more right over here. So put three. Now, here's, here's the important part. Because if you want to use a lemon or a lime, for all you guys that are, are aware of this, that their lemons are very acidic -y, meaning if you touch it and it goes in your eye, it's really going to burn, right? So you got to be careful. What we're going to do is we're just going to put a bunch of lemon, step one, and we'll pick up these seeds in a second. See those seeds there, Cammie? Yeah. Pick those up. Off the, off the meat, right? Because we don't want to eat those later. So the lemon actually starts to cook the fish. So we're going to start by pouring a bunch of lemon. I'll let you pick up the seeds off there. Like I said, I'm not an expert chef, but I really like to cook. All right, keep pulling those off there, yep. So you're going to soak these fillets in lemon for about, I'd say for about 10 minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna grab a little bit of seasoning. If you wanna put a little seasoning, a little salt or pepper on here, a little garlic salt. You can put Cajun seasoning, whatever sort of seasoning you want. But the main ingredients, lemon, brown sugar, and Captain Morgan. And then we're gonna throw this on the grill for about, oh, for about 10 minutes. And I'll show you how we caramelize everything and how we smunch and crunch and, and eat it all up, right? Yeah. All right, buddy. Put that on a cookie sheet. You can see how much lemon, see all the lemon in the bottom of here? So that, and see how it changes the color of the fish? It's actually starting to cook the fish and it's kind of marinating the meat. So that's step number one. Now for the last step real quick, we are going to caramelize. So here's the important part, because the caramelizing will probably take, you're gonna turn this on high heat. Whoa, we got our Instapot starting to spout off right there. So so we're going to turn this on high heat. You got to watch when you're cooking alcohol because sometimes it will start on fire. 
thing is, I'm really not measuring anything, guys. I'm just kind of filling, filling this up. Was that you, Cammy? No. So we're probably putting, I'd say, about a half a cup of Captain Morgan in there, and then a lot of brown sugar just to kind of cover it up. You got that on high heat. That's great. You hear that spouting off? I need to get a wooden spoon here. Do we have a wooden spoon? Yes, we do have a wooden spoon. Now again, this is on high heat. So what I'm going to have Cammie do, she's going to just slowly mix this real quick, like this. Now this is going to take about 10 minutes, okay? So you do not want to put this on the fish right away because it's got a lot of sugar in it. And once it caramelizes, it'll turn into like a, 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 a thick syrup. And if you put it on the fish right away, it'll burn right away. So you kind of want to add it the last two or three minutes while you're cooking. So I'm going to let you start on that. And uh, I'll bring the fish out on the grill. And we'll show how that looks in a little bit. All right, well, we are running out of daylight here. Running out of daylight. Just going to put these on the top because I do not want to burn them. Cook these nice and slow. Then at the end, I'll put them on the bottom and we will caramelize them. So we'll get, this takes about 10 minutes to cook these coho fillets in here. You can tell the meat will all kind of look the same color. And it takes about five, five to 10 minutes to caramelize the Captain Morgan's and brown sugar. We're losing light, so I'm gonna go back inside. All right, we're adding a little bit more sugar. This is really gonna thicken up. And you know when this is about done, It'll be close to when the fish is done. Do you have a headlight? All right, like I said, we are losing light. I have the fish caramelized, or fish, can't even talk. The brown sugar caramelized. We are gonna pour that on the fish. This is the last step. It's really gonna sweeten it up. There you go. Man, I'm kind of losing my boat here, guys. Not as planned. We don't want to lose these juices. We're gonna let that sit in there for maybe, maybe like two minutes. And then I'm gonna pull it out and we're done. We're gonna go inside and eat it. All right, so got the fish off the grill. Last thing we do is gonna put some lemon on top of these fish, and then I need my official taste tester. And of course, that will be Cammy. You try that, tell me how it tastes. Right here, take a chunk right off the back here. You know there won't be any bones in there, dip it in that juice. See how the meat comes right off the skin? You cook it skin down. All right, Cammy, you gotta tell me how that tastes. That's your favorite, is it good? Mm-hmm. All right, guys, so this is the first catch and cook video I've done in a long time. If you like our videos, do me a really big favor. I'm trying to make 50,000 subs here coming up soon. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Leave me a comment, too. We're going to be giving away a free fishing trip, so I want to fish with some of you guys coming up next soon. And don't forget to like the video. All right, we're going to eat dinner. Thanks for watching. And again, we put the meat, meat down, down, beat down, smack down, crack down. Until next time, see ya.